I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? Well, I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. Started raining. Why are you sleeping? I'm awake. You cold? What's the deal with Silent Hill anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now. You've been there? Once. On a missing person's case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work, you hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? You feeling sick? My head's pounding like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car's sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. Am I still friends with A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. girl gave birth to a god. You see, that girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. In the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. For me. For you. Please. He loved me just like I was his very own daughter. He 
even though he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you tell you how happy you made me. I'm gonna head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. You got the map, right? Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. I am afraid. Fifty-something years old. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger.